Afternoon guys, I'm going to get out today at some point, as you can see I'm at home in the garden and I'm just going to show you, I'm basically coming up on my one year, it's been a year, it's nearly been a year that I started metal detecting, now it sounds a little bit crazy and um, I've only been doing videos five months um, and but the, the hours I've put in metal detecting are absolutely crazy but I just wanted to give everybody an insight into uh, some of the thing, good things I found and some of the other bits I found before I go off digging tonight and um, Hopefully show you something cool So here's the stuff that is a load of trash that is full all my lead I like to save all my lead because it's worth money These are my bits English coins Two P's and five P's and twenty P's and everything else loads of random stuff little horseshoe like i said loads of random stuff half the stuff i don't even know what's in there i just rack that up um then we'll get on to these are my stuff that i don't know what it is yet and i'm waiting on people to confirm stuff for me this bit um gets me thinking because people have been finding uh, lead ingots recently and if you look that was actually shaped like it's been chopped up so i wonder whether that was actually a lead ingot if not it weighs five pound and it'll go in the lead tin <laughs> now this is my i counted up all my coins last night well i was i did another video and i didn't quite like how i'd done it so but these are all anything dating from lizzie's modern lizzie's well not modern lizzie's lizzie's 1950s below george Henny's. Georges um, and these are all in cracking really good condition the other stuff I just chuck away I've got a load of Vickies in here somewhere I think they're away at the bottom but yeah they're all my coins I've found Roman coins since January I've had 270 odd these are some of them um, I have given a lot to the landowner and this is all my favourite stuff right here I found this yesterday Another this is a Roman ring I absolutely love it, shame the stone still isn't in it but it's cracking anyway, I love that um, my coins this is one of my favourite coins, look at that I dug that out of the ground and it's like brand new that's one of my favourite bits um, William 16.97, I think. Yep, yeah, half penny. Cracking condition as well. A load of hammers. This is a Scottish hammer. I can't remember the emperor now. My mind's just thrown a blank. That's a cracking one. It's a shame it's had a little bit of chew off the side, but it's still got so much detail. Um, this is my Roman Saliqua. Absolutely love that. Look at the detail on that. It's beautiful. That thing. Um, my Hadrian I believe I found that with the Equinox first day out um, I love these Vickies the, uh, the uh, it's, what is it it's a later, later part of her reign where uh, she started wearing the cloak but it's 1893 one shilling Lizzie the first sixpence I've only ever had one of them but I absolutely love that I'd love to find more of them I don't find too many hammers to be honest. I've had a few Vickies. This one. This one. Um, loads of decent detailed coins there. This one holds a little bit of a heart string to me. This is where I'm where I'm living, Lambourne. And this is a Henry Knight and um, half crown um, token. Well, uh, yeah, token, and it, that is, what was that, 1632, that. So I absolutely love that. Some of my Romans here, I've got a box full of Romans and loads of other coins in there, I'm not going to go too much into it. But some of my big Cistercius, cracking. This is one of my favourite Romans of all, look at that, that is just absolutely beautiful. Look at that. 
the bust on it is absolutely gorgeous. I really do like that one. And then I've got all my buttons here that, that, I've, that I've found. This is probably my fa favourite button with all the enamel on it. Absolutely love that. That's one of my favourite, that is my favourite button of all. I've got some lovely detailed ones. My spur rowel that I found the other day, I absolutely love it. It's cracking, look at it. You can see where they've actually chiselled it to, uh, to mould it. My first bit of gold, hat pin. Um, some crottle bells, Roman pottery, bronze pottery. Um, Buckles, my little Vortifax Celtic, uh, Roman stylus, Saxon mo Saxon strap end, zoomorphic, my World War One cat badge. I love that. RFC. They were only they were only for a few years. Sadly, it's lost the pin, but I still love that to bits. Um, this is my favourite of everything I've found so far and it's my silver thimble I absolutely love that and it came out of the ground look how beautiful it came out all the detail around the bottom that's my favourite little toy soldiers silver pen silver bladed pen knife there the, the um, hallmarks on it um, buckles and part of buckles Uh, I don't know how old this is actually, it's a snake, it's a serpent if you can see but it's an uh, old brooch, sadly it's lost the pin but I love that some um, musket balls and some spindle whirls, bullet tips, bullets yeah um, oh, I'm getting old for that. Um, not going to go too much more into it but gear wise Equinox, favourite machine of the year since in the last year is probably the Q40 because it's cheaper, it's it's great for people getting out in the hobby, it's such a good machine. Um, thank you to Tony Hunt for ever giving me the chance to use all the Quest machines and Quest themselves. Little tip for you, buy some of these, Dan Spencer showed me these, they're called Viper uh, Tactical Combat Pants, they use them for airsofting and the knees are... Uh, built into them and in the pockets they've got straps that adjust them to your knee size so they're really good finds pouch searcher magazine love it because it's got loads of little separate pockets that I can put my stuff in pinpoint usually goes in this get on ebay and buy some of these they only cost a couple of quid you get about 10 bottles great to put your water in gopro camera black adder searcher spartan spade um, that's a cracking bit of kit and yeah, this is my main bit of ammo now. Absolutely love the Equinox, will never knock it because it's a proper bit of kit. Basically, I dug, I've been playing about in the garden because I'm bored. Oh, there's a bit of rain there. But anyway, playing about in the garden because I'm bored. And I've just gone through like digging signals and I've had this pound coin and this ring, but I, I can see a bit of br brass in it, so I reckon it might just be some kind of plumber's ring or something. A little bit of a button here. But, and I cannot believe it, and I'm hoping it's true, it's real. I think I've dug a crottle bell. Well, at least I think so, anyway. Because look, and it's complete. Or I believe. Look at the rain that's coming down. Jesus. Right, um, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to get it clean and I'll get back to you. See you in a minute. Good afternoon everyone. I'm going to call this Marky Mark's Bumper Edition video. There's going to be loads of little extras in today. There's a couple of clips that I've done early on in week. I haven't been getting a chance to get out much. But I've just brought you down to this um, natural spring here. And I've basically got permission off the landowner. And this is the River Lambon. And that's a natural spring. And I'm going to be coming down here with uh, my metal detectors, the scuba detector, and um, do some river detecting. I'm just waiting on my wetsuit coming this week, it's here on the 26th. So, look how beautiful and clear that is. It's, a sp it's basically spring water. 
all the way along here. Look how beautiful that is. I can't wait. I reckon there's going to be some cracking stuff in there. Take you a little bit further up. Gets deeper there. Yeah, and it was all the way along here. Don't think anybody will ever have detected this before. It's probably going to be loads of rubbish as well in it, but look how beautiful that is. I can't wait. Hurry up, wet soap. Hurry up and come. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, can't wait. Get down to the river, Sid Perry, um, England's history detecting is going to hopefully tag along as well. Get in there with wet silks on, cracking. Listen to the birds, it's so beautiful around here. Look at me, like bloody David Attenborough here. Yeah? Oh. There's my first bit of metal I found. Look at that. And I have got here, guys, a little drone. So I'm going to have a little go with this now and hopefully be able to make a video clip with it. Anyway, I'm going to get out digging in a bit as well, so there's going to be a bumper edition video. So keep watching. See you in a bit. Right. That didn't go to plan, guys. Crashed me drone, Anna. It's hit water off of here. Oh no! I tell you what, I am brutal with these um, drones. This is the second one. Hopefully, it'll still be in one piece. Oh, you bugger! Absolute bugger! Right, I'm gonna have to walk across and get it. We'll just pop you in here in a minute. In fact, I'll just come back to you in a minute. See you in a minute. Right, let's go and retrieve me. Drone, oh, it's chuffing freezing. Oh. Oh. oh, this is not a good idea. I'm holding my knees, trousers up on my top, so that's why I'm going down. Oh, this is deep. Well, I didn't plan on going never detecting today, but I haven't got much choice. If I want to get me drawn back that's freezing that is freezing oh my word my trousers are getting wet through as well that's freezing man Trousers are wet through. Just remember my phone's in my back pocket as well. It's not a good idea, Mark. Right, sit back across. You better get ready for your goalies being small when you when you have to say this is his freeze, mate. She's cold. She's cold. Is it working? It was on. I'm gonna have to reckon I'm gonna have to leave her out to dry. Yeah, she's gonna have to dry out. I'm sure she'll be alright. But I just realised I had my phone in my pocket, but it's an iPhone 10, so that should be waterproof. I'm gonna have to walk metal detect in wet trousers now. And I've got all my money in my pocket that's wet through as well. That did not go to plant, but hey ho, 
Hopefully I'll see you in a bit when I'm out digging. The first part didn't go to plan guys, but I'm on my permission now. Albeit absolutely wet through. But I'm sure I'll soon dry out. Let's get going, see what we can find. Catch you in a minute. I just had a signal here guys, I've obviously filled it back in now, I guess I just had some people talking to me so I don't want to look like a weirdo. Um, I just dug a signal here and I got this weird coin token kind of thing, we had two on it, nothing on the other side. But yeah, that's my first find of the decent find of the day. See you in a bit. Everyone, just dug a signal here, I wish this awesome move, he's, he's ever so friendly. Just dug a signal there, right down in the bottom, probably about 6-7 inches. A little button I think. Yeah, so, little button. Will you bugger off, horse? <laughs> Seems very interested in metal detecting. Maybe I've got a new customer for detector bits. Put that back in the whole kit. <laughs> He's ever so friendly. You're a good boy, aren't you? Huh? Good lad. Right guys, just took a signal here. I can't really do a video anymore. Uh, do like the camera's a bit wobbly because I broke it. I dug a signal here uh, about four inches down, and it is my first coin of the day. And it's in, in mint condition as they usually do come out of this field. And it's a, a Vicky Vicky half penny 1874. There we go, first coin. We'll keep going, see you in a bit. Right guys, just took another signal. As you can see, imprintation there. Um, literally just down from where I had the other Vicky Penny and it is another Vicky Penny. And that one is 1862. We're on a roll now, let's keep going. We got a coin spill guys, that's the hole that I just dug there, can't find the imprintation for that one anymore, but I had another, the, the half penny came in at 1920, I had another single then, as you can see, imprintation still there in the mud, and it is, a Vicky, what is it, Farvin, Vicky Farvin, and that, that one is, Another 1862. There we go. Look at that. Cracking little coins. Lovely detail on them. So yeah, fingers crossed we might find some more. See you in a bit. Do you know what? No matter how much I detect, sometimes I reckon metal detectors suddenly just randomly one day want to find just one certain thing all the time. Because today, I've just dug another signal there, look. Imprintation there. Down in the hole here, it's only about three, four inches down, and 1920 again, and it was a cracking Vicky again, half penny, 1886. Come out in mint condition in this field, look at that. Can't believe it, that's what's that for now? Four Vickies. Let's keep going. Now, you all who watch me do know that I do like to find a good button. And down in here a signal of 21 down in the bottom and it is in cracking condition some kind of war one I ain't got that one but it's it's like it's just come off someone's jacket bar the uh, discoloration look at that that's cracking that yeah if anybody can help me ID that thanks a lot Hey everyone, I had a signal and a 10 and you know how I like finding a thimble it looks silver but it's only silver wash sadly and it's smashed a bit so look that's a shame because I like my little thimbles yeah it was silver washed that's a bugger oh well, we'll keep going you know I was just thinking the other day I always find the same coins be it silver, Vickies, or Odd Armoured, Romans, whatever. I'd love to find something new. And I have just found 
something new. I don't know what it is. It has got third on it. Uh, uh, P E R M. Anyway, if anybody can help me with this coin, look at that. I haven't had one of them before. That's a cracker. I don't know what's on the other side, mind. The other side's a bit battered. Uh, yeah. There's nothing on the other side, sadly. But yeah, I'm going to have to have a little grid of this paddock now. Yeah, see you in a bit. On my way back to the car now, I'm absolutely sweating. I know I've got a hoodie on, it's my own fault, but if I was that close to the car, I thought I might as well um, keep it on. I'm chuffed to bits with that other coin, I don't know what it is, but... Uh, I like finding new coins and I was just thinking the other day I hadn't had a new co different coin for ages so that's meant my day that last coin um, yeah so hopefully soon I'll have my new wetsuit and then we can get and have a bit of fun in the water um, as you can see I've finally dried off so yeah now I'm going to pop for a pint on my way home and I'll catch you all soon <laughs> 